Hi, in this tutorial, I'll show you how you can use user accounts instead of license keys in order to authenticate your customers inside of your application. We'll first start off with a quick demo where we'll get uh, an insight into how this thing works. And then we'll look at the necessary steps that are required in order to implement this into your application. So the first thing I'm going to do is launching the, uh, the application that you can get. It's actually uh, in the examples re repo that I will include a link to uh, in the description. But basically there's going to be um, a folder called Di uh, Digital Tools Collection User Login Authentication, which will have an executable uh, that we'll use in this video. So by double clicking, so this is what your customer would have done. They double click on, uh, on the application and browse the window opens. They log in, they authorize, and now they have access to the features that they've paid for. So this was a quick demo. Now I would like to show you how this thing works. And to do that, I'll show you um, the, the following diagram. So there are different perspectives. So the first perspective is our perspective. That is the perspective of the software developer, which is up here. And uh, this is the perspective of your customer. So what we saw in the demo is basically what is shown in these two, in, in these three uh, pictures. They opened the application, they, uh, a browser window opened, they authorized this request, and they, and they gained access to, to those features. Let's do it step by step. If you log in into Serial Key Manager platform and then go to Customers, let's create a new customer. Now it's very important to click the or tick the the enable customer association box. Although you can do it in the next uh, in the next um, on the next page as well. So that's now the customer is done. So I'll just go back to to this page to the customer page and I will remove the. The associate this customer because otherwise uh, 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 this wouldn't have uh, made any sense. So because we want to start from scratch, so we start and we create a new customer. We, as you can see, we enable customer association, and uh, optionally we can also enter that uh, or specify that only one device is allowed per customer. So basically, they can only log in into one computer at a time. So this generates a new link, and this is the link that you will have to send to your uh, customer in order for this um, association to take place. So um, now it might sound a bit confusing, but let's just go back to, to the following slide. So we, now we are in this part of, the, um, uh, of, the, of this use case. You create a new customer, and then you send them this link and uh, once you've sent that link to, to, to your customers, then they'll be able to access all the licenses that you add to this customer object. So this is the customer object that we'll refer to later on. So let's copy this link and uh, open a clear or uh, an empty browser window and uh, visit that link. As you can see, I've all, I was already logged in as customer three, so I didn't have to log in. But essentially, uh, if uh, if they are not logged in into SKM, they would have received the following page where they have the option of either creating a new account or if they are logged in or, or if they already have an account, they can just log in and this associ association will take place. But once they've uh, their account is associated with the 
with this customer object. So a customer object is something that we, uh, that's from our perspective and um, from the vendor's per perspective. So as you can see, this customer object has been associated with an existing user account in, uh, in SKM platform. So if we go back to, so this is the customer's view. As you can see, they, there are no licenses, but we can fix that. So if we go to the products page, select the SKM product, and um, maybe you could pick this, this uh, license as an example, and uh, assign it to, let's see here, it's test user, right? So this is going to be test user. And this is an expired license. So we could actually enable vo the voice recorder and uh, let's uh, get this license 10 more days. So let's go back. As you can see, if we refresh this page, uh, now that customer, if, if once the customer visits the portal, they will see that you've added a license to, to their account. Uh, so, and this is, by the way, your page, but we can talk about it late in, in a different video. So they can get some basic information, but the idea now is that your customer is going to log in into your application and then they'll be able to access this particular license without having to enter it. So once we've accomplished, we've now created a new customer account, we've invited them to associate their account with a customer object. And uh, now we'll just go through this, again, the steps that would have taken, that would have been taken by your customer uh, that is launching the application, authorizing the request, and then getting access to the features that they've, um, they have right to, to use. So let's click here. The first time it shouldn't. All right. Uh, one thing here uh, we will do is we'll copy this link and open it in an empty browser window. And the reason I'm doing this is because as you can see, in this browser window, I'm logged in as the software vendor. And uh, here I'm logged in as a customer. So now the customer would then have to just review that, okay, they see that it's a test application uh, it, and uh, it will expire in five days. So they, the only thing you have to do is to authorize this request. Once they've authorized it, let's go back to the application. I oh, have multiple instances opened. So this is wrong. I think, how many do we have here? Okay, this is the old one. As you can see, they have access to just that feature that you gave them. So for example, if we put this uh, uh, here, we, we, we can do, what we can do is we give them, let's give them, let's go back to the customer object. So let's click on this license. Let's give them the video recorder as well. Go back and uh, I haven't changed the icons here yet, but this is essentially the login button. So if they click on this button, then it will initiate a login request. As you can see, now they have instantly have access to those two features. And um, they might have multiple features or multiple keys for the same product, but that doesn't really ma make any difference from the perspective of the, or of, of your application. Your application only, have to, it only has to ensure that they have a, a valid license for a specific feature and that that license hasn't expired. I'll quickly, so essentially now we are done with both the demo. We've uh, also uh, looked at how this whole uh, process looks like from your side, that, if, that is from the vendor side, how you can create a new customer object, how you send this link to your uh, customer and how they then have to just log in
associate your account or their account with this customer object and then they can simply log in into your application and gain access to all of those features. From the code side, the entire code is available on GitHub, but um, in these final few minutes, I'll show you quickly how uh, the, this logic is set up. And there will be some uh, more descriptions below in the comments field. So while it's loading, let's take a look at, so it, essentially it's, ju it's just one method that you need to call. Okay, let's see, let it just load the solution and uh... So the entire the code logic code logic is located here. Um, so basically We have a method in the API that basically, or just as the name, get license keys, uh, requires an access token uh, and uh, your public key. Then what we do here is we just, we check. So you can view the, the voice recorder, video recorder and converter as uh, three separate modules. And what you'd have to, and uh, each of these modules has, uh, is encoded into one of these uh, three features. So voice recorder is feature one, um, video recorder is feature two, and the, the converter is feature three. And what you do here is checking if there's any existing license in the list of licenses that the customer is entitled to, if there's any license that uh, hasn't expired and has this feature set to true. That your public key, this is also quite important, I think, to go through can be accessed on the security uh, page. You can just copy this uh, public key and insert it uh, into this uh, here instead, basically. And uh, this token here, this is just, this uh, can be accessed on this page. You click on create new access token, and then you need the get token permission only that permission is required. So get token is basically what uh, takes care of uh, um, allowing them to log in into your application. Right, so this was a quick demo of user login authentication, essentially a feature that helps you to use user accounts or allow you to authenticate your customers using a user account instead of a license key, which is much more convenient. This is a beta feature still so but we are still working on further improvements uh, and um, if you have any questions please feel free to uh, contact us thank you very much